Welcome back to the Jesse Rosinski Show Wednesdays with Walter. There's been a lot of stupid that has happened in the last week. So uh, we got some scatterbrain stuff. It's a lot of sidebar, com- you know, I would say conversations because there's no big concrete anything. And again, Pfizer stuff, no one's getting through all that, but they're still pushing it. Supreme Court stuff. It's not out yet, but we got to read it. People are losing my formula stuff, primaries. Like there's a lot of just, yeah, there's a lot that's happened, let's say in the last week. And uh, we're going to, try to do the best that we can to get through. At least we both sound more awake than we did for the racing show last Friday, where it was just, uh, you can tell how good, what tell how our night was the night before when uh, my other time exactly. we sound dead, except for Walter. He's still on that Sarah Quill on a lot of it. So if he's in a coma in the morning, that's because the VA tranquilizes him by an egregious yeah. amount of a psychotic amount of Sarah Quill. But that's another story. For For another day, um, and we will get to uh, the Pfizer stuff again. (laughs) That was a lot of pages to go through. And uh, yeah, I'm not like the big mainstream media folks or even conservative media folks. I I don't have a staff. We don't have staffs. We have us and our regular lives trying to read through all that. You know, we don't have minions. So we'll go over what we have gotten through so far because it's kind of terrifying. But we'll start off on something that is sheer stupid because why not i said i mean the formula situation uh and the fact that the guy that ran around for it you know him and all of his minions for a year saying that everything that happened in 2020 whether it was the virus coming from overseas to here even though he did the travel ban that they told him not you know so he stopped it from you know all of that everything that happened to have it like all of it was trump's fault no matter what happened it was a leadership issue and now so far no matter what happens whether it's Afghanistan, this, gas prices, everything, they're blaming everyone else. And normally it's Vladimir Putin. Well, part of it. So their their main plant is in Michigan. And then they have other plants, one in Ireland. Um, there's some other listings. But they had four or five different plants. And the problem is they shut down their main one because they did a voluntary recall. When it comes to that, I am going to give 100% credit and props to Abbott for doing it on their own without being told because that's better than waiting until you're told that because that means more people are affected. So when it comes to that, kudos. That would make sense. That one makes a lot of sense. And anyone that's got a problem with them doing that, you don't have to say anything about business and you're an idiot. No, you're going to do by not doing it is damaging yourself. Yeah. Especially when you you know there's a problem and people are involved and especially with baby formula and stuff. I mean, I'm still looking, you should want to mess around with. I'm still looking into the disease that people, the sickness are getting from the formula. Cause I don't know a lot about it yet. I don't really want to talk in regards to the sickness because I don't know anything about it yet enough to even talk about it. But I will say they've had a few cases linked to different versions of formula and being they're the main powder formula maker in the country. They did it on top of the, we're going to just say shortage, and I'm not going to say why I think it is, because I know what they say it is. It's a bull face lie. So, like most things that comes out of their mouth. Um, hey, but I wanted to read. Politicians across the board, this is me just picking on one side, but most of them absolutely. I wanted suck. to read this paragraph. This is directly from the FDA. It says, we, this is written yesterday, by the way, yesterday morning. We recognize that many consumers have been unable to access infant formula and critical medical foods that they are accustomed to using and are frustrated by their inability to do so. We are doing everything in our power to ensure there is adequate product available where and when they need it, said FDA Commissioner Robert N. Khalif, who supposedly is a medical doctor. Ensuring the availability of safe, sole source nutrition products like infant formula is of the utmost importance to the FDA. Our teams have been working tirelessly to address and alleviate supply issues and will continue to do everything within our authority to ensure the production of safe infant formula products. First things first, we have a shortage already in our country. Our border is not shut. They're pulling a shit ton of people across every day. I talked about it last year with you 
I said they brought right off the gate 250 kids right up here to Albion, Michigan, took them to Star Commonwealth, which is unacceptable because guaranteed there was at least one or two infants, if not more. And the other thing is, is how many infants alone are coming across the southern border and they're getting food because the government's getting it for them. And they're not even going to let these companies sell outright to wholesalers first before it goes to the stores. No. What infant formula it is is going straight from the manufacturer, straight to stores. One, that's wrong because there's groups in this country that get formula, pay for it, and they donate it to outfits that take care of abandoned children or children who are in fossil. So you got the southern border. That's wrong because that's taking formula away from American kids. I feel bad for anyone in Ukraine who's suffering because of Russia. I won him against the forty billion dollar package that got passed in the House yesterday. Maybe Two, we could get five that's for a wall. Forty billion dollars that could have been shoved towards the infant formula problem, or our southern border. I find it funny. We've pooped more money in the Ukraine in the last three months, and all we wanted was what was it, like five or seven billion dollars for the wall? Amazing how quick they could pass forty though, and the thirty before that, and. Again, I want I want everyone to understand there's no person out there that's more sympathetic than I am for these people in Ukraine. Just like the women and children in Iraq, just like the women and children in Afghanistan, especially the women in Afghanistan. But how in the uh, hell side note. can we take care of them? Before we take care of our own? How, can, how can we take care of the people from Latin America if we can't even take care of our own damn kids in our own damn country? And on a side note, yes, I know where you're going to go with that. As far as the Taliban goes, our government's no better, allowing them to do what they did. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, lo and behold, guess what happens? Women can't go to school. Women can't go to work. Women have to be 100% covered at all times. They are not allowed to leave the, not allowed to leave the house. Girls can't go to school. Girls ain't allowed to be outside. Remember, they're a progressive new Taliban. They're a business-like Taliban. They're uh, No, sorry, you could put it, uh, like I said, forever ago. Go find the episodes. They were the first ones that were titled. I went through and renamed everything. So now everything has a title, but it's around 80 something, I believe. You could put a dress on a pig. It's still a pig. No exactly. matter how nice it wants to pretend to be. <coughs> they might have a PR guy now that likes to talk to people. It's amazing how quickly they stopped talking to females and they lost all of their rights that they were allegedly to going to be able to keep doing everything. Wonder why? Because it's still the Taliban. It's still all the people that were once leading the Taliban. It was people that we traded for Bo Bergdahl's traitorous, <laughs> treasonous Look ass. what they're doing now. And guess what? We're back to the old world. So, uh, And that's exactly why they just moved right on from it. There it is. I mean, they don't mention the word Afghanistan at all. Which is what so I was just arguing first... with someone with while I was pooping. The first one I see was back in January when they first brought up FDA wise, when it was first brought up. The the sim or the problem is called Chronobacter. I might be wrong on that name. Just a hair. But hey. they first talked about the infection on January 31st, and then they had some more stuff about it in February, then in March. And then here we are to yesterday's article. But my whole thing is, is I don't see how, like I said, I feel bad for people in Ukraine. I do. But there lots of innocent same people. Time, there are a lot of innocent people on both sides that are caught in the middle of all this. Exactly. How bad for innocent people that have, I do. And, and, I and there's people out there, I don't care what outfit they're affiliated with or who they're not affiliated with. But when they voice their opinion and say that our government's trying to support a proxy war, instead of letting Ukraine just finish this shit and get it over with, that's a problem. I, Our first. government should have stepped up day one, did 40 or 30 billion, sent all the equipment and said, we'll fight, we'll continue supplying your ammunition. Have fun, good luck. No, they can't do that because we think ignorant. We don't use our brains. We don't learn from history. We can't fight a war in 27 different fronts and think we're going to win every single different one of them, which is what it's going to boil down to. We're going to be back in Afghanistan and we're still in Iraq. And I hope we never leave Iraq because that's our last option of fighting Russia and China. Don't care what anyone says. Uh, so Afghanistan. We'll be back in Afghanistan and I, I give it 
less than a year and a half, we will be in Iran or Russia, if not both. Watch. He said it first. And then the other Take one that's off is right now standing by with, with stuff like this formula situation going on. We're worried about this, that, and the other, and pronouns and people coming out and talking about equity. Tell you what, I wish that people would start taking their documents on equity and shoot them up their ass. That's about what they're worth. Yeah, equity is a joke. Yeah, equity is not equality. And and as far as the progressive communist she is or whatever she is, the chick has taken Saki's job. She's no better than the last thing we're doing that job. She's she's even worse. That's my point. Like what? We're going backwards. We're literally remember, going backwards. Joe Biden is the only person I ever, I never even thought, I'll be honest, I'll back up. I didn't even think it would happen. Joe Biden is the only person in the history of the country that's ever been able to bring back six different decades worth of problems all at once, all at once, right now. And then blame it on Vlad. That's a problem. Well, if Vlad's causing all this, why are we spending billions of dollars over there and not spending the billions of dollars here to fix our problems that we're We're sitting having? here worried and by the way, to anyone listening out there, 3% of our oil, and that came from Russia. I don't know about y'all, but gas down here has jumped about 60 cents in the last two weeks. What's your Maybe gas three. gallon for regular? I don't know. Uh, we're back up over. Last I saw, was, I want to say 409. Oh, we're Life. 437. We'll say, no, say, one up I, here. Say, I, don't, I didn't look yesterday. I think it's actually up over that from what she was saying. Uh, it could be up in the four. I just, I the only reason looking. I know that is because I had stopped to get ice for the baseball <laughs> or t-ball game yesterday. I just Because I looked one day and went, huh, it was 399 with your card and 409 with cash. And I looked the next day and it was 409 and 419, depending on the, so I just, yeah. And now diesel well, finally went up. Diesel's this up, one to, you know, diesel's up to almost 540 a gallon. Guess what? Diesel's up to almost 540 a gallon. You know, we're having a trucking supply issue. We're going to have a bigger days. issue because companies aren't going to be able, aren't going to, yeah, they're going to stop. They're not going to be able to afford to drive all these things all over the place and pay people to do it at the same time, which is going to cause an even bigger problem, which, by the way, for all the Drew loves out there, I told you that one before the election. And I was awesome. a conspiracy Good. theorist. Yeah. And guess what? Here we are. Where's that shooting star? Doodle-doo. The more exactly. you know. We need to have a reading rainbow show for this. Anyways, let's take a look. It's in a book. Uh, it's reading rainbow. <laughs> Yesterday, we Take sat. It, you stupid fuck. It's the rainbow. record for the highest price average gas ever. in history. Ever. Yeah, ever. Yeah. And you could say that's twice uh, in like 38 days. Yeah. Whatever yeah. it was, 40 days. And he's gonna you know, get and I pretty positive, like sure, the big like uh gas companies, they're not helping, they are playing a part in it. But guess what? The continuous printing of money isn't helping inflation, making things go up more. Oh, and who are who who makes who is the countries that has like the majority of all the oil and everything coming out of now shipping all over the world, which means they have to deal with those countries setting the price because well. That's where the oil is coming from, no matter where, you know, the company, no matter what company it is, well, they have to get this it. This right from here, someone. what we're getting, what we're dealing with is idiocy. We're not quite as bad yet, but it's about to be what Pakistan is going through right now. They owe $1.59 billion by tomorrow. I'm pretty sure it's either tomorrow or Friday. They have to pay it by then. If they do not pay it, three Chinese firms out of the however dozens there is that run all the electricity companies in Pakistan will be shutting down the power. So now Pakistan doesn't have the ability to do things. They're losing finances. They're having a hard time shipping stuff out that they export. Well, they now have shut down their export of sugar in, uh, was that Pakistan or Thailand or sure? Pakistan or Sri Lanka. One of them too, they shut down their sugar going out because they're having the same problem. There it is. Oh, that really road awesome. belt initiative thing that China's got going, it's what I said from the gate. It's no different than that, and it strangles everybody. Well, it just does it faster to countries instead of what NAFTA does. It might take you two decades from NAFTA. It takes you two months from Chinese. I mean, 
literally. <laughs> and I'm They're still world domination. They don't play at games. this moment right now, wanting to know why we haven't put a wall on the south side of Panama and started focusing there first. Because if we don't get that under control, you can forget all the other bullshit problems all the way around the world. We're gonna lose right there. Hey, hey, man, our our military leadership says that isn't a problem and we need to worry about white rage and equity in the military. Well, how about we worry about, I don't know. Here's your military. equity. I will equally punch every <clears throat> pussy in the face that can't do their job in the military. I'm, That's my equality. Equally. Hey, they, we, will all, we will all equally die when all hell breaks loose because you're worried about stupidity and not, I don't know, Somehow you missed Afghanistan for the months it was happening. You didn't do anything. You missed the hypersonic missiles that China and Russia have. That long. I mean, you guys kind of seem oh, like yeah, a speak. lot of stuff that's very dangerous to our national security. And you guys are worried about getting extremism and white rage. And, and they also and, said something, speaking of the Ukraine side of that, because you wait, just said something that reminded me of it. You just reminded me. I'm going to forget it. I'm going to write it down. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, that's what they're worried about. And, you know, somehow they're missing all the worst people in the world doing all kinds of things that could carry, I don't know, nuclear warheads right up over top of our head and we wouldn't be able to do anything about it because again, hypersonic and our stuff, like, like we're not worried about, oh, I caught us off guard. Like, you know, I'm really tired of the phrase that caught us off guard. Like we didn't know. Exactly. Like, where, what are have you guys been say that when Russia nukes us? Are they going to say yeah. that when Russia nukes us? Because here's my thing. The other day, that last statement that Putin put out in person, it should skin, send chills down the spine of every single American there is. This is America. Because now he openly admitted to his own country he's no longer fighting the Ukrainian Nazis. He's fighting the U.S. And we're at war with the U.S. He, he's saying this openly just two days ago. People are dumb. And, and he's now threatened a more in-depth conversation of nuclear warfare and has openly said he is now at war with the U.S. Well, okay. That's fine. He wants to go that way. The U.S. has to turn around and think, now, oh, wait a minute. we got to be strategic about this. They got all the ports except for Odessa blocked off. They've got the entrance to the, what is that, the Black Sea? Yeah. They got the entrance to the Black Sea down by Turkey somewhat secured so you can't get through there. Well, what happened to uh, Turkey balls it up two months ago and saying, hey, we're not going to have any military conflict in the back Black Sea. Do you understand? Where are they at? I'm calling Turkey out. They're chicken shits. They don't have the balls to stand up to Russia. The U.S. government, they're chicken shits. They don't have the balls to stand up to Russia. Right now, from the edge of that, what is that? The Straits of... Uh, I know what you're talking it? about. What is that one? I know, I, I know what you're talking about. You said the Straits of the only thing that came to my mouth, mind was Gibraltar. Right there, except I'm pretty sure it's not no the Gibraltar Strait. Park seven or eight U.S. Four, warships right there. Boom. Park, sit for 10 minutes, radar up, and let loose. Because you could hit everything in that sea from right there off of one of our ships. Don't tell me it can't happen. I know no, it. I'm not, uh, no, I'm just going to tell you that... Um, not you. I'm not saying you, but no, I'm saying the lunatics that are running the asylum right now and the people that put them there, they still will think we are completely crazy until cataclysm happens here. Then suddenly some of them might wake up, but most of them, you know, what? The only you, me, Trump. for this world is that all I'm going to say is thank God for Israel. I was going to say thank God for rednecks. Well, that too. Maybe, maybe it's just because I haven't seen zombie land in so long, but. Yeah, because I tell you right now, Israel. Those balls I hope, and doesn't take I'm, it. I'm praying. I'm praying that Israel, because they are they're close to it already as it is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I'm just praying and waiting for when Israel goes. You know what, U.S. I can't do this no more. You guys are very ignorant about stuff, and this is how things are gonna go. You're either with us or you can sit back on the side. Either way, <laughs> look out. Well, we can't deal with your incompetence anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Because that brings up the other port. Killed. The point is right now, what, what port is left for Ukraine that's somewhat functional is being bombed daily again. Or for the first now, this one's being bombed daily. It's the only one left. What are we gonna do? We can't even get aid going that way. Going into Poland sketchy, they're already wanting to nuke Poland. Like, let's be realistic about this for a second. 
the Swedes, they want to join NATO. Okay, that's a problem. If, if the Swedes are trying to join a military alliance when they've been neutral forever until now, that's saying something. Why is the U.S. not taking it serious? Well, because, again, the, the people running this not sandwich either. don't take anything serious. I mean, for the love of God, have did you have, I mean, just in the last little bit, have you heard Jen Psaki's responses to things? I mean, remember. Speaking of remember, yeah, the, you know, the, you know, the one that drowned at the Rio Grande trying to save people? What? No, that was a go. What? That was their thing. It wasn't our thing. So, that was a state employee. So, so coming so, again? Sorry, not sorry. Like, so, you know well, what? If they, Next if they weren't we have- wrangling 300,000 people at the border every month. They wouldn't be down there doing that in the first place. Exactly. And on top of that, though, the next time we go to war, which, I mean, I shouldn't say that. The next time we decide to send people overseas, we're still going to go to war. It's just just a matter of time. Thanks, Joe. Anyways, when we go and they go to tell people from Texas that, hey, we need this many National Guardsmen, reservists, or active duty, that's when Texas should go, Nope, can't do it. Sorry, they're state, they're employees. state employees. We're going to keep our people here. Sorry. I, I, I really want them to do that. As much as it would be to a degree hurtful for our military, I want the state of Texas to stand up and do it. As a matter of fact, I like to see other states do it. Oh, oh, oh that's just, well, that's a federal problem. What, I know another one that would do it. Like, Christy, like no, that. without question. Like that's a that's a sorry that's a federal problem. What remember they're state employees. Figured the I could see Florida stuff. doing it too. Oh, yeah, it was just. Um, also, but anyways, um, it's also you said dumb. something though that reminded me. Saki, that worthless. She's coming to MSNBC. Her and Joe MSNBC really didn't even want her to go. To need MSNBC. to go back to a school somewhere in the country, like away from a city, get out of a metropolitan area. Go to a school and go to an American history class and just just ask, you know, hey, is it wrong or right to protest outside of a Supreme Court justice's house? Oh, well, that, uh, see, forget that. I just like right before when you said you're ready as you could be. And I mean, I was just sitting in there, you know, just typing back to idiots. Um, lots of idiots across the board. And I saw some last night from some people that I know. They're posting things like they've shared it. Someone said that when they went, you know, when I went to go into a Planned Parenthood, some guys yelled at me and called me a baby killer or something like that. So it's about time the justices feel that it, like what I felt. Like, well, one, that was at a government building being Planned Parenthood. That's at their house. Like there's a fine, well, go outside. Let's say you work in a deli and you slice the meat wrong. Someone gets sick. Would you rather the person come and confront you at work at the deli or show up at your front door threatening to kill you and violence against you and your whole entire family for it? Better I'm example. sorry. Now, VA, just, a VA hopeless. patient advocate. Would you rather the veteran come to the VA location or go to that thieving communist house? Like, I'm sorry. There's I'm, a I'm willing to go to the house if that's where they want me to go. But that's there's a not fine line. Well. There's a difference. Um, just like there's a difference of people saying that's, you know, a good thing and we should blow up the filibuster over it, which is it's funny how there's Nancy going right along with it. Um, and then just to close out Afghanistan, because I was only in there for like three minutes and there was just it just kept going. Uh, someone saying was an MSNBC anchor apparently stated that January 6th is what showed weakness and why Ukraine is happening right now, why Russia attacked me. Like, no, actually, I'm pretty sure that was that was just idiocy. Um, the way our military reacted and just said, get left Afghanistan and all that equipment behind. Yeah, that weakness is why this is happening. It's happening. And I, uh, of, uh, Afghanistan withdrawal has nothing to do with January 6th. With, by the way, people. Go down there and pay, patriotically let your voices be heard. And they were attacking before he even got to that line. And they planted pipe bombs the night before, which means it definitely was it. And I know people that are actually, let's just say, 
inside of the security of that building and they knew it was coming for days beforehand so your whole it was his words that did it and the inside and that's why he needs to stay off of twitter is full of shit unequivocally and i wish well, that's people over could, i wish you people i know but i wish you people could uh learn how to uh read i actually like how elon said that he said it should only be for rare occasions such as <clears throat> bot. like these and, democratic hackers that want to come yeah. out here and be crazy and just 20 miles an hour every minute on everybody's and, boats and incite just psychosis and get all the people there and yeah but back to the end of i just wanted to share all of that by the way that was a crock um if you did something stupid at work i'm pretty sure you won one angry mob outside your front door because you're actually doing your job and saying that they should be there and it's completely fine whatever i mean yeah, like actually jim what the, how about you get them at work and you don't go where their children are Why? Well, i bet if i showed up and got an angry mob outside any of y'all's houses which you know 2020 when the riots were happening suddenly it was okay until they got to Lori lightfoot's neighborhood then suddenly she called the cops and what you need to put the bird down the what second you bring it to their door they freak the out and you get inside of a block of them and they call the cops to get all of you out of there that's the difference this is completely okay to them but the second anything gets anywhere near their life people are telling them that they suck cops get called people get dispersed thrown in jail oh. all kinds of things because they're hypocrites about everything but especially on this and they've proven that over the last two years there was so i okay that is gonna almost me, two years that's gonna take me back to the two things that i forgot to say about the formula and it goes it's gonna go right back into the protest and it'll all make sense at the end two things i forgot about the formula to say was one is it's getting ridiculously expensive yeah. two it's also going up in price because not only do we have shortage and stuff what about the theft out in california what about all the shipping containers that are always blasted open if we're going to be open about this, we're going to be honest, we have to talk about the theft at ports and shipping lines. Because I, I, I'm a firm believer we should be using trains more than anything in America because it can ship more and it can ship it faster. They don't stop on highways for traffic. They don't get in traffic jams. When they're just, just putting there. that out there. When they're just sitting there for years on end, they're getting bamboozled and literally but, everything. That's a conspiracy theory too, apparently. You know what there's like have you seen and, the tracks down there what they're scattered and just stuff exactly so, now that brings me back to my next protest people want to protest stuff i got some protests to lay out there for people who want to protest no matter what party you're from you could be protesting the fact that we have shipping problems because all of our stuff is either one don't have enough people which boils down to oh if you want to demonize every person in america that didn't believe in the vaccine from the start like myself that alone would have probably 40 to 60% of this whole shortage problems on everything solved. In Michigan, every one of us that didn't get the vaccine, we're still we're still criminals. We, you know how hard it is to get a job if you're not vaccinated right now? That pays hey, more than $10 an hour. Look at California, I'm pretty sure. Like the, and the California's environmental stuff. Like and, and, and nobody's protesting that. And vaccines. Nobody's protesting Jennifer Granholm down in, at Capitol Hill, sitting there running her mouth. Well, what about her? She wants to close line five. Go protest that. They close line five in Michigan. People think California pays a lot for fuel, pays a lot for natural gas and all that. It ain't nothing compared to what it'll cost Michigan people when it's over. Because it'll be, it'll be, un- yeah, it, we won't be, able, main, we'll be like Ukraine not being able to heat houses. That's, that's, that's the main one that gets you. Go guys. protest that. And the rust belt going up towards my mom and dad. And I'm like, that's the big one that. Why don't you see? Why aren't all these groups out here protesting the Veterans Affairs? You could do that at any VA location. Cap- you could go to Capitol Hill. You could go to your state capitol. You can go to hey. go right straight to the White House. I don't care. Those are the places you should be protesting and protesting hey. the VA for veterans. Gone, gone but not happen. forgotten. You know, hey, we're, we are forgotten. What you aren't forgotten? Yes, we are. But we're just a number. No one gives a damn. You can say that you do all you want. No one really cares. Because that's that's going to bring me the other thing is the job numbers for last month. They created 428,000 jobs. Well, congrats. You're still complaining about, we got all these jobs creating, not enough people doing them. You don't understand why, but yet the unemployment rate's still down in the threes. Well, I'll tell you why. It's your employable Americans participation rate. It's shit because in America, if you're not vaccinated, you're demonized. Most areas, you can't get a job. Go protest that shit. Which is why don't why people come out and just say the vaccines are a joke? All you Twitter people, 
hello twitter people when you say this is the greatest economy ever it's like yeah, that number is based off people that can actually apply for unemployment that aren't working. And in a lot of places, if you're not vaccinated, you're not allowed to work. Oh, yeah. Unemployment. Which means, which means the unemployment rate might be something, but there's a very large swath that can't even, that, that can't even get unemployment they because yeah, they, they can't get it. And by the way, if it was so good, why are all these places begging people, like everyone? is begging people to work no matter where I go here in town. Everyone is now hiring for love of God, please. We'll give you $15 starting out to work at Taco Bell. Just, just like the best, I'm yeah. McDonald's here. $15 yeah. not much. They're doing you know, starting out at that. And we're still nowhere close to the actual, like to the jobs numbers pre COVID. So... McDonald's in Chelsea, the next town East of here. That's big town. Yeah. Sorry. Next town, big, big town East of here. Uh, I wouldn't know the difference if you pointing your finger. I know. They uh the one McDonald's starting at seventeen dollars an hour. Yeah, I mean like they're doing Second, all that. I want to give some props out to Chelsea because I've always kind of looped them in with Ann Arbor and I feel bad. They're mm, not quite bad. liberal as much as I thought they were. This yeah, last but... week and I experienced something I never thought I'd experience in Washtenaw County. I went to a store that sells natural soaps. I get it for Spirit and Taylor for her shampoo. Well, anyways, we're in the store. We're talking with a lady and we're looking around and another person come in with his daughter getting some stuff for Mother's Day. And we were I overheard the conversation. They were looking for people. They were talking about donations and stuff. And they were looking for people or groups or organizations to donate to that truly serve good causes. And I'm standing there and I, I'm trying to keep my mouth shut and fine. I was like, I got to say it. I got to say something. Yeah. So I lifted off a couple of groups that are strictly veteran owned, or sorry, veteran founded, veteran ran, veteran people, all veteran oriented, that go to all these different countries that our federal <laughs> government decided to go, Peace. they go in there and fix all those mistakes, get all the people out that the government should have got out that didn't get out. Explain to them who they were, what they did, and other things that they did. And after talking with these ladies for a few minutes, they said, well, yeah, we're definitely interested. So I started giving them the names of these groups, and they were really interested and said that we're really grateful that there's groups like that that are especially are just veterans. And I'm like, huh. So I want to give a shout-out to Farm Studs. That outfit is the group that did it. They said, more than willing to donate money, send this, that, and everything else. So Farm Studs is a good place to buy soap from. Just putting that out there. There you go. And if you're down that's here, that's not a sponsor. If you're down here, Buff City Soap. It's nowhere near a sponsor. They and the, there's fine, a website. If you need it, we can soap. put it up. You have to make fine, fine products here in town. But <coughs> there's my throat being an idiot again. God bless America. Uh, back onto this leak. So I think that's where we were in the midst of all of this idiocy. Yeah, people protesting in idiocy and donations yeah. yeah we'll just go back to that um i do love the response from a lot of the politicians so again you're never on social media you don't have me i'm telling you you should like oh my god the stuff you would see we just sit there and go i i probably just go you're ignorant you're ignorant it's just then i click on them and it's that stupid i just read all the people agreeing with them like, like you physically cannot be this actual stupid. Don't you know? Apparently. If they go after this, which by the way, doesn't make getting an abortion legal, it throws back to the states because it should have never been a federal problem anyway, because the Supreme Court upholds is it that they uphold? What is that document? Constitution. Yeah, that would be it. Bingo. Yeah. And it's not in there. And if you actually read the 98 pages, I'm through most of it. I mean, it's really just, here's our response and here's why and a bunch of just cases and, you know, everything that goes into it. Very well articulated, very nicely wrote. Props to whoever wrote that for Justice Alito because, you know, pretty sure he didn't have the time to write down a 98-page anything. Right. Um, and if he did, even cooler on him. That's insane. But... You know, them doing that and then everyone, you know, the Pelosi's and all them freaking out, you know, that is going to get rid of like, you know, 
interracial marriage and you know, they're going to attack the gay community. The, Dude, even outright said in the letter, this <clears throat> only applies. pertains to abortion. And that they shouldn't it's have thrown, in the letter. And they shouldn't have thrown you know, examples of interracial anything or any of that other stuff into Roe v. Wade and Roe v. Casey and all of them because they had nothing to do with the actual thing at hand and they don't know why they threw those precedents in there in the first place because they're nowhere near the same thing but i do love them like especially people saying that you know clarence thomas would go after interracial marriage like last time i checked isn't he married to a white lady i don't know you know know, it's kind of like like, why is disney so quiet and their base just keeps eating it up and going for it and Guess what? None of them have been thrown off of any social media site. I only know this because I continuously run into the stuff. The view is still sharing whatever the hell they want to. How people, how, how people still watch that, I don't understand. <laughs> Elizabeth Warren was oh. on the other day, so I really don't get how they... like. We talked about all those countries. Sorry, not cut you off. Hate speech. You know, I'm just... Yeah. Well, this goes Carry into on. that. <clears throat> what about on. the death threat of Elon Musk? Yeah. Well, if you're going after them, about hate it. speech, Russia outright came out and said, you will pay. Hey, they can try. Well, my thing is, is one, Russia's an idiot. Elon has a little bit better ability in space. I would not mess with that option. He might mess their stuff up. Secondly, I hope he does. Third, how can our government stand by and just be like, okay, or now it makes me question which country is truly doing all the threatening. Is it Russia or is it Russia and somebody else like say Iran or North Korea or honestly the Taliban will never threaten because he poses no threat to them because they don't know how to get off the fucking ground. But that's besides the point. With that being said, China, I do question is China, Iran, Russia, North Korea, or all of them involved? Who's involved in that? Because I feel like there's more than just that behind it. I think everyone's Elon right. Musk is a true threat to all them countries. And I understand that. Like, I understand his mental ability is a rarity for our world. They don't come all the time. They're not one of them born every day. Let's be honest. So when those people do come along, I feel like, especially here, a guy that was born in another country, grew up there, made his way to another country to get bypassed the bull crap to be able to get this option from there to get assistantship here. That dude from a teenager knew what he was going to do to get here and worked his ass off the whole way to do it to get here. Our country should not only be grateful, but they should be like, you know what? Hey, Russia or anyone else involved with this, Kick rock. try us. They never will. They never will. And that all boils down to one thing that solves all the idiots' problems here. Everybody always talks about gun control. All of our all of our crime problems are because of guns. This and that. Well, first of all, I could lay a gun loaded, cock block, ready to rock, and shoot me on a table, barrel pointing at me. And guess what? It's not gonna shoot me. Because the gun doesn't shoot people. People shoot people. Hey, why? When you go to when you go to war, you, you think bullets just fly into you magically? Someone you think, you think IED just magically show up in the road? No! People Crazy do people. that. There's people, people problems, not item problems. Yeah. People get killed by all kinds of things all the time. It's funny. We never blame, the car, never blame the car manufacturer or the distilleries or breweries for DUIs and go after them, but they want to make it so you can sue the gun Mark my words. I find out China's involved with that death threat. Death threat. After they took George Strait from me. That's not going threatening people on there. It's not very nice. I'm not Self-finished. threatening. I'm just saying that's rude. Hey. That's rude. Hey, I lost two nights of Metallica because of them. That's my point. They did they did horrible things. And if they start and threatening one of America's greatest, greatest minds got, alive right now, I'm gonna have a problem. And I got straight out the wheelchair and was ready to go. And then, well, there was nothing nope. to go to. And where are you going? Nowhere. Exactly. Need to watch that movie again. I don't think Hannah's ever seen it. But God bless it. But yeah, um, it's really I mean that's what you expect from 
crazy people around the world, the crazy response you see from the left's base with they just go out, they regardless of how true or what they just listen, go boom. Like they don't have, yeah, which is why someone said on that interweb thing, what made you, you know, what made you decide to be a conservative? There's always people talking about they were born that way, they were raised that way, you know, the church, the, this, those like what? Ability to cognitively and critically think. Sorry. To comprehend and critically think. And I left it at that. They were also given these big, like, long, like, as many characters as they can. I can actually think. And comprehend. I would be simple. I can read. I like my freedom. Like, I can read. <laughs> That's what I, I can actually comprehend written words. It isn't hard. If, if a lot more people would just literally take 20 minutes a week, just kind of like pull their head out of their own little ass <laughs> and look around what's going on, but there's have a, a little bit of situational awareness, it hey, would be good. Hey, no, remember, they think we need to stop doing research on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and the interweb and Fox News. They have to throw up Fox News and Newsmax in there. It's like Too bad my numbers I, come from the government. It's like I, I told them, it's like, what, I actually read the bills and like the CBP's like numbers and the FDA, the CDC. Like, you, like want actually, true, you want to know true? You want to know the true corruptness? Just like read their own paperwork. FBI and all their crime stats. Like I read, I, I actually go to the government's. Like I actually do some of that. What I actually get my numbers straight from the government. Where do you guys get yours? I can't remember the last time I had Fox News on, except maybe it was like one of those random. It was like eleven forty, and I just. My what gut felt will at least make me laugh. Ten forty, whenever like, the hell it was. I like was. to watch Fox and Friends. Those guys always make me laugh. Yeah, like, I don't ever turn. It's just what noise. Like I turn it on for like when it's late at night. Just, now I'm watching Doomsday Preppers because well, I, just, I don't know for some reason. Uh, I'm background noise. I like uh, Ghost Adventures. Or yeah, except I, I want to pay. Help. Except I want to pay attention to like Ghost Adventures. Why I don't turn on like Deadliest Cats or like like what I want to watch it. You know, I could just turn on like. I mean, really, I don't even know what my background noise is. I don't even. I have to really uh, debate TV, when I turn that stuff on. Like, my TV I'm, isn't on. Like everyone, I record wrestling. You know what I do? But I catch up on that, and then there's a lot of races from flat tracks and all the stuff that I didn't even know was on. On top of like NASCAR and Indy and F1 and all of it, that I just go into my DVR every morning. And guess what? That's when my TV's on. Otherwise, I'm taking notes. Then I'm typing stuff. Then maybe I'll have time, you know, between dishes and shampooing Buster out of the carpet and let to actually sit down and turn on something. Normally, like turn off Fox News and Newsmax, bro. Like I, I don't remember. I'm having a brain like, fart moment off the top of my head. Like, like the last two days. I mean, I watched like Monday. What did I do Monday? What did I watch? Oh wait, I watched racing. The truck race, race straight race. into the Xfinity race, straight into the cup race, straight into the wrestling pay per view that I missed from Sunday. Like, what that was after I caught up on it. Like, oh, and Supercross. Yeah, I was gonna say, that. didn't you and I finish between Monday during the day and a night? And it, Supercross race. Like yesterday, more like I had to watch what I had like 13 hours of stuff. I had to catch up on just what the TV was not on for any purpose except me sitting on. Oh, Jesus. You know, make it like so there are people that like, I just go to the government website and no matter what the politicians tell you the actual numbers are there to disprove 90% yeah. of what a lot of them are saying and that goes on both sides because there's garbage no, people so on both sides numbers, the people were to do the research what was the protest that was done I, I want to say it was the end of the 60s or first or second year of the 70s when they went to Washington, D.C. and everything was full of people, there was millions and millions of people there. What, what, what was that for? Was that Vietnam? Okay. I would like to see a protest that size in Chicago. That's all I got to say about that. Exactly. Poor and I must say that because I watched that whole video of that shooting of that dude walking in Lincoln Park yelling at him. Oh, yeah. They'll never do it, though. All over a foam password, cold blood is shot the shit out of that dude. Guess what? That guy's still alive. He's in he's in the hospital. If that guy makes it, 
I hope he sues and owns Lori Lightfoot when it's over. Oh, yeah. Didn't you see? I mean, she actually, man, if I could get on there right now, I would end up losing that. Ah, God, what did she say the other day? Yesterday, I think, which told everyone that they needed to, you know, this was their time to stand up and fight back and they needed to get this out. This is called the arms. Yeah. And that, you know, all of that. Like, so now you're like, you're already the murder and violence capital of the country. Now you're calling for more. And whoopee. Had to go and be whoopee. Yep. Mm-hmm. And well, whoopee. Go and defend her. Oh, you're an idiot, whoopee. Shut up. Go back to like the whoopee that we liked, you know, Sister Act. Yeah. Start doing Sister Act movies again. I like you, though. I actually she's wanted to go out of my way to see you. She's dumb. Now I'm like, like she's dumb, dumb. Like she's really dumb. She's like egregiously dumb. Just like, by the way, while we're on, people are egregiously stupid. HBO now, Max, Max, whatever it is. Like I'm disappointed in them. Well, I'll tell you another thing that's stupid along that line, and I'll get into it next week because I'm going to bring it up. Why? Is uh. If you, if you've been on Apple phones. lately, like in the I last month, TV. No, 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 on Apple Music on your phone. Oh, I mean, yeah. Well, but I have you my tried playlist. to listen to any Dr. Dre recently? No, I'm, uh, not I'm, uh, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg don't have anything to do, any album music they did that had anything to do with Death Row Records. It's no longer I'm, on Apple Music. I'm a, <coughs> I'm a Caucasian. And every time I listen to good rap, someone looks at me like, can't rap along to it can't say it like and i get like like you can't say that well if you don't know now you know you know there's that uh i haven't looked i don't know i just turn on like i just click and then just let it keep playing and go that sucks that sucks that sucks don't even like look up it just she's like you hey, know- <laughs> And if people ever really want the truth of why Sean Hannity's been around so long, I know why it is. It's because when the average person watches that channel and they see his show and they're always scrolling names from people who've been killed in Chicago, they've been doing it for years. Yeah, no, it continues. He's the they only one up. that gives a shit enough yeah. to do that. Hey, and and he has nothing to do with Chicago. Yeah, and I saw a thing. I saw a thing. There, <clears throat> talking about all those you know, guns and everything. But, you know, again, it's all, we all know what side the people that are making these idiotic statements are on, but they were talking about, you know, gun violence, how we need to get rid of, like, this and criminals can't pass, you know, going to, like, it's just, it was all idiocy, but someone commented, was like, so, you know, like, a lot of these states, like Illinois, and around them are very, very strict on their gun laws and some things like tasers and stuff inside the streets of Chicago. Like it's hard to get because certain what I'm pretty sure what felons are going to do felon things, no matter what, well, like, guess what drugs are illegal too. Look how many well, anyone, this, this, I'm are going to be criminals. Country, say it. So anyone in the country knows this. Felons do ever felonious things. Gun control. All you have to do is say, you want gun control? Explain to me how Chicago is effective. Tell me look, how Chicago has the lowest murders hey. in the country. Oh, wait. Hey, if you can do that, then I'll, hey. I'll stand 100. I'll give up my guns hey. tomorrow. Hey, look up. Look Till up. then, good luck. Look at New York City. Look at their gun laws. Uh, look at what the numbers though might actually be some, higher. Some places, in, oh, yeah, they are. But I'm saying look at places that are like California. Look at all the extra. Look at all their gun laws. That's what, it turns out places with really strict gun control, criminals tend to get away with a lot more. You, you, don't, you don't hear about that crap in Chicago happening ever down in, in Asheville, or not Asheville. Well, yeah, Asheville, North Carolina. You don't hear about that happening in, in Johnson City, Tennessee. You don't hear about that happening in Huntsville, Alabama. Alabama, sir. Arkansas. But lo and behold, it is nothing to see that happen right here in Lansing, Michigan, Jackson, Michigan, Detroit. Uh, even there you go. That's a better example. Detroit. Ypsilanti. Ypsilanti Detroit. is full. That's the most Arabic concentrated community in the country, probably. I'll be honest about that. The most concentrated Arabic community is probably Ypsilanti, Michigan. No, I don't doubt that by any means. But that being said, though, you go there, that's the nicest group of people in the state, it seems like sometimes, other than going to the UP. 
You either have to go to Ipsy or the UP. Otherwise, you're dealing with shitheads all the time. Very you got much. Detroit and Arbor, Kalamazoo. I, I tell you what, man, a guy at the UP at a smoke shop, nice guy you could ever meet in the world. Guess where he's from? And guess why he lives in the UP now? He's from KZU and no longer lives there. He said, I left Kalamazoo because I could not deal with the crazy policies that were being enacted. He says, I'm a Democrat and I hate my party. I don't want anybody to well, do I mean, That's because they're not. That's because, yeah, he can say we're not. Republican. But with that being we're, said, though, we're the MAGA party. It's like, yeah, what? You guys are the batshit crazy. But what you guys are exactly. like, you guys are the communist party. You guys are deep left. You guys are, let's take care of the criminals and not care about the victims. Let's worry about the gun and not the person killing people. You know, it's... The guy left an engineering job making a ton of money. Sold everything he owned that was physical asset down here like that. Sold it all off. Moved to the UP, which is like 98% Republican. Like Trump Republican. Not just Republican, Trump Republican. True America first people. 98% of them up there like that. Completely different world when you go across that bridge. So for a guy to leave that environment and live there 40 some almost 50 years, then to move to that, that shows how far off people from the Democrat Party, the, 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 the moderate right. Democrats, the progressives, the liberals, all them people have right. literally lost the faith in anyone. Like not just other, like the Republican Party, they've lost faith. The people from other groups have lost faith in them. Their own people from their own Democrat party. Their own some of their hey. own progressives are fighting progressives. Hey. I mean, uh, they've uh, shout out to my mother, registered Democrat for forever. She voted for Obama Over the it. first. Yeah, she voted for Obama the first time and violently opposed him most of the time. That was the one time. But normally, until this last one, she voted for the independent every time. And I think her exact words are these people are batshit crazy and they spent four years plus doing nothing but attacking Trump and doing nothing for the American people. It was just the best game for this, the best game for that, it's the best game for that. While well, the whole world was falling apart and they didn't care. Guess what? That's how normal people see it. They've done nothing. And they still haven't retracted for years. Either one of them. And people are, you know, going off talking about, oh, I just lost my train of thought. It's a wonderful thing, right. boys and girls. But no one, but like the, the, it's just, it's gone full. Like, and there's oh, so much crazy. That's what you said. I know, but oh no, but she voted for him for the first time ever because said they're just worthless and that we should all get the money back because they did nothing for four years except just go after him while the rest of us got worse. Oh, yeah, and all you people on there saying the infrastructure, what I bet you're okay with them spending money on them, but no, America first, which helps every like Joe by build back better, which helps everyone. Like, yeah, like, um, what like the infrastructure bill like, that too, like help everyone it's like what? Well, all those people that call us crazy <laughs> like I, I got it like shit. yeah here it's like here what if it helped anyone did they lay any of that internet cable yet did they fix any of the tower did they do anything with the cell phone towers did um are they using everyone's tax dollars to give people subsidies for health care which means sooner or later the subsidies are going to run out and people are going to be completely screwed because other people's tax dollars are paying for them to get cheap this, they're getting more money for the internet, which means more money coming out of us when we're already just burning through cash and inflation. And last time I checked, wages went up five and a half percent. Inflation's up over eight, which means everyone got like a three percent pay cut, even though they got a five and a half percent pay raise. So, what, please enlighten me how that's helping everyone. Why the rich people keep getting richer, especially those cocksuckers at Pfizer and everywhere else. I've seen the quarterly reports. Well, the other thing they it started is- getting all that money from the Fed for. So for the little la, 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 vaccines that aren't even actually vaccines because they don't actually yep, the only on. the only thing that they su- successfully done so far in their group is since the they've been putting power is they actually passed the infrastructure deal. So I'm actually gonna quote Geraldo Rivera. Jesus Christ. You pass the bill, act on it, do something with it, and, <laughs> and make it all happen. At least do the infrastructure part and make it happen. Then give yourself something to work with in hey. your administration because you you have nothing to promote. Nothing. Hey. You can't even promote the infrastructure deal because nothing's done. And if hey. you want to talk about infrastructure, I can prove it. I'll take you right outside right now and go show you 100 hey. meters from behind my house. I read, yeah, I perused the infrastructure bill. It's amazing how much when you think of 
actual infrastructure, you know, roads, bridges, tunnels, railways. You know what I'm saying? That, that, I'm so saying it's, yeah, but it's amazing how like less than a fifth of it actually went to actual like real infrastructure, not equity based infrastructure. Like, like that's not actually like they didn't put like anything to actual I mean, physical infrastructure. They said that it's for infrastructure. That's what they called it when over when like 80% of it has nothing to do with what actually infrastructure actually is. And it's just a bunch of more wasted idiocy. And what's that stuff they do? They're, the they're stuff going they do? and doing virtue stuff signaling. Virtue signaling. That's that's what it's called. That's what they do. <coughs> I just didn't want to see your face anymore. I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of virtue signaling and stuff thrown. Well, not just that. I mean, okay. So there. like them not getting the infrastructure stuff done is allowing a company that's a monopoly like Consumers Energy, which supplies the electricity for the majority of Michigan, okay? You have them. The federal government is making them look good. They're actually getting more done on this interstate project for 94 than the state and the federal government has gotten done money in construction loans. Hey. And they're, hey. Al- they're corrupt. <laughs> they're Amazing. corrupt amazing thing uh when they redid well let's say the road outside the school here right you know pretty much across the street was terrible terrible and it was so bad and the state kept doing nothing that the school actually used their own funding from you know like their budget for it and actually paid for the road outside of the school to get redone yeah they redid the whole thing both sides well that's like anything this over here where the boys are right now doing their t-ball league because we live literally 30 feet south of the freaking line so they're playing in a completely different league than they should have been in but anyways the league they're playing in their games are at frost elementary i know you don't know where that is but i'm gonna be like every single commercials no one knows who those people are yeah every single road that leads over there you are not getting down it without destroying at least a tire. Like, oh, is that, is that what comes you, down? You to can't the- get anywhere on the south side of the honestly. It's King said no more. It's worse than that. I say 70% of the roads in the city of Jackson, you can't get down no more without destroying your car. Or damaging so, your you're saying it's like all those memes that you see. It's like, so you're taxing me to, you know, have the vehicle. You make me pay registration to have me make me get what then you make, you know, make me get an inspection to prove that it's road to prove the so it's you know, approved to drive on the roads for the state to drive on roads that aren't meant for cars to drive on. I'll tell you right now, if they put the roads under the control of whoever the guy, the outfit is that's in charge of the DNR's maintenance for trails, if that person or that outfit was in charge of our roads, I promise you, we wouldn't have road problems in the state of Michigan. Because I'll tell you right now, you know how our our trails are immaculate. Our trails are always taken care of. Nope, I'm not even joking on that. The DNR keeps those immaculate take really good care of our outdoors if them people that are in charge of that maintenance and the upkeep of them programs if those people were in charge of our road commission i can assure you michigan would have great roads because they go out of their way (coughs) to find people and make things get done hey just like i'm gonna say that falls into the category of you know proper forest maintenance like if people like oh, yeah. in the state, like if the people in the state of, you know, California ran it like certain states. I'm not know. saying we're the best state for conservation, but I, I will say for the state of Michigan's image, they should take pride in the DNR because our DNR is a pretty decent yeah, the, the wildlife. Like, there's states that burn to the ground every year that get way more water and stuff than some states, and you don't see mass forest fires breaking loose. Plus, oh, it's God. always nice to be able to see a, a cop get pulled off by a DNR officer and can't say anything back because, well, they own them. Sorry, dude. Have a nice day. Like, go yourself. Yeah, basically. I mean, they can't. The DNR are the most. Oh, and here's an example of why the DNR are the best in our state. And I will say this to the day I die. Not the CBM. Two years ago, when they had that lady was going to jump off the bridge in Detroit, going into Canada, that bridge, she was going to jump off the Ambassador Bridge into the water. The DNR was brought down from up north, two DNR conservation officers, drove over there, 
and talked her down and saved her. None of the police, none of the, there's two FBI locations way closer than what them DNR officers were. You're telling me none of the federal government over in that area, not, I mean, you no, got Homeland Security, government. you got CBP, you got the FBI, you got a lot of stuff there. You got ICE, there's a lot of stuff in that area from Ann Arbor to the world, to the water. It took DNR officers from up north to come down here and talk that lady down and save her. Sorry, our, our, our state should be, for, for the state of Michigan, we should be emulating everything off the DNR because the rest of our government here sucks. And I'll be honest, a lot of states need to start having internal accountability. There's a group here in Michigan called PIME. They're all about making sure that there's no more corrupt elections, no more corrupt monitoring. It doesn't matter what party you're from. They just don't want it anymore. Because we outright seen on video from that lawyer last year illegally shoving ballots into that building by the vein. That's not okay. Hey. All people keep saying is we're all crazy. I mean, even though we all saw, yeah, mail in ballot stacks in like the Atlanta area in that beautifully corrupt county, like without any creases, but they were mailed in. But like, now, what's that guy's, what's that city, that suburb on the outskirt of Atlanta that wants, has nothing to do with Atlanta no more? Uh, I just, I can't think of it off the top of my head. I tried to not think about that. Dumpster the word buck was in there somewhere yeah, I feel counting like. all these mail in ballots it, they're like we want nothing to do with like you it, people it's, anymore it's flat like it, it's it's flat there's not a you have to fold the ballot to I mean, there's video of people putting more way more than one ballot into boxes and you know guess what that stuff really did happen um and that's because of the stupid rules which is why all the Democrats in the state of Georgia happened to lose their mind when Georgia passed the thing. You know, the oh, voting right, their voting rights thing. And oh, I know because they made it outright. Well, you can have drop off boxes, but they're going to be outside or inside of local, you know, your election board place. So it's going to be right there. But you got to get through them. To they should be watched. Them. And the camera's on all of them. You should actually do something when you see it, because I know someone's watching the camera at all times. Yeah, and keep Eric CTC or CSC, whatever that group was, CFTL. Keep them out of it and keep uh, the new one. What's Zuckerberg's new one? You, the Alliance for something. Yeah. something. Keep that one out there, too. But, yeah, like, the, um, not saying all of it. And then people are freaking out on the internet just, that are literally, like, on you know what side they're on, saying regardless of that that didn't create millions of like votes for them. <laughs> yeah, but if you look just in these states, yeah. Well, it's been brought up numerous times how he, how he got a hundred and eighty five thousand more no than Trump in Michigan. Physically impossible. Like <clears throat> numerous people have said that's not zero. possible. To actually, go through the people who are alive and can vote. There's no <laughs> way he got that many votes over Trump. They, they've proven like. Uh, Still in court, getting, though. Right. Yeah, there, there's all kinds of stuff going on right now. So that's all I'm getting to get into. It. But speaking it's, of states, let's take it to a positive side. Well, I was trying about to the lady from Pennsylvania. Positive, I was trying to end on a positive note. Which one? Oh. Which the one? one that came out of nowhere. She was way behind. And then all of a sudden, out that's of nowhere. A, that's a three horse race coming down to the wire. Yeah. She, she came would, out of nowhere. I can't remember her name. Her name? As my people would say up there in the yeah. Northeast, well, I'm close enough to New Jersey. I was going, it's coming down to the wire. Or if you're in Philly, yeah, got to get me. A but I, I wanted to point that out because that right yeah, there is kind of, to me, it's kind of cool because it's a Republican soaring that actually wasn't backed by Trump. So, I mean, I'm like, that's saying yeah. something. Yeah, that's a good thing, though. It's like, uh, you know, like all that when that happened. Yeah. You can say whatever you want when I'm doing this on my own. And a lot of them did. But before we get to the good stuff and all that, I will say one of these weeks, we're going to do stuff on the Pfizer numbers. I just want to say that much heart stuff and the efficacy number, like they told you it was like this high. And really it's at like maybe 12 for maybe a day or two. And then it's pretty much. Well, not um, And that there's still 
trying to push it down people's throats is the amazing. It's like, but they've released tens of thousands of pages shortly, and you're still trying to. But it's great, it's great, it's great. It's the most. It's it, it, like, no, nah, bro. Like your numbers say the complete opposite. That's why they wanted to drag it out over seventy five years. And I like how they, nobody's bringing up the fact that when you get the initial vaccines per those numbers, the initial vaccines within three to four weeks, you're having either arrhythmias problems, swelling okay. problems, which is probably a swelling something to do with the heart. And there's a lot of those. Every page has at least one of them, if not more, that you look at every single page. It's like, okay, all within three, you know what, I won't say that, two to four weeks, because there were a few of them that was less than three weeks. So two to four weeks, every single one of those that was reported was within two to four weeks of the initial vaccine, not your booster, the initial. It was within one to four days or one to five days after the booster, usually. I'm sorry, you got people who don't have heart problems taking your vaccine, now they have heart problems. Case closed, like, shut up. You, you can't argue the fact that your vaccine is going into people who had no heart problems. Now they have heart problems. Sorry. Yeah. And the numbers linked, are there. Buddy. Regardless of what anyone says, they are there. It's all right there. I mean, uh, is that what, <clears throat> the efficacy number that they gave us compared to what their reports are saying is astronomically. Way it's different. only off. It's only off by 60, 70 percent. I mean, yeah, it's only a little bit. Yeah, ninety-eight percent efficacy you know, rate, effective rate. So like fourteen. Like, yeah, you, know, you were only off by this much. But hey, I've seen all their quarterly reports. Good for you guys. But all that money coming in from people like Chuck's pocket when he pays his taxes going to y'all right. buy all these vaccines when. It doesn't really actually. And guess what? There are some people, yes, you had getting it. Everyone, no. I was on enough drugs to try to fry my heart that I just, and the Marine Corps pumped me full of enough everything. But like what? I breathed in dust in Iraq. I breathed in the fire pits. So we're burning everything on the list of do not burn. What don't they were in there. Saying, out is for sure causing all of our lungs to cool, just quit. Yeah, it's like, what? All of that, you know. Uh, you know, every, you know, living in the tank battalion barracks, for example, you know, a lot of what, what all the shots they gave, what I'm good. That smallpox, anthrax, what, you know, that, I guess what it might, it, you know, saying it, it could still help you lower your, you know, what happens when you get it. Yes, that is still, you know, there, that's still there. There's a lot more heart symptoms than anyone told us about, and a lot more blood pressure issues, a lot more anything that anyone's telling you. The Veers website, Bears Veer, however the hell you pronounce it. But it's out there with the numbers on there. These people are releasing all this stuff. And most people are just going to listen to what the talking heads tell them because there's what, oh, yeah. 10,000, 9,000, some odd 10,000 pages just in this one. So, I mean, you're going to be. Then out of our conversation, they're going to get the word fairs. They go, oh, they use fairs report for information. Yep, they're racist. What? Like, no, <laughs> government's, web, it's what government's website, bro. Like, it's theirs. Oh, I know we're racist for reading a government no website. Sense. Heaven forbid. Speaking of something that makes absolutely zero sense, those Bahama deaths, they said it was the AC leaking. I'm sorry. More than just the four people from the US would have been infected if it was an AC refrigeration leak. I'm sorry. If your refrigerant was leaking in that scenario, more than two couples from the US would have been affected not just them two couples. Secondly, that puts me to the point where I believe that was an intentional thing. If they're going to stand by it and say that was from the AC leaking, then it was intentionally done to kill those two couples because there's no way it would only affect it just them two couples in one building. No. Um, wait, that's no just more. coming like, from knowing anything about refrigerant. Yeah, the information that's been coming out of that has been... Uh... I'm just saying, everybody has sketchy, to watch sketchy, is an under, sketchy is an understatement. Like the information coming out of well, that is. You love sketchy. this. Let me say how I wrote it down in my note. <clears throat> Carefully. Slowly. Shady Bahama deaths. Some shit. Like, again, there's been so many different. Like, I've heard at least two or three different theories about like the whole thing about is this. No, is this more? Like, like what? It was like, why is she in the, why did they get her all the way back to the U.S. to treat her? If, like, I'm sorry, that just doesn't, 
Just not like they don't have hospitals down there. I mean, if it was just AC refrigerant, she could have been treated there. You know, it's just really sketchy. I don't trust. Anyway, which again, I get the word you're looking for <laughs> intentional. Yeah, you know, uh, that's sketchy. I, you know, like, she's like, you want to go on a cruise? Nope. I'm going to go here? Nope. But a lot of places I'll go at. Nope. There's a few that are on the list. I'll go, let's go to Alaska. Why? Well, everybody asks me why I won't go on cruises and stuff anymore at this point in my life. I'm like, I have zero interest in going to any of those islands that any of those cruises go to. Yeah, they're just hotbeds for problems. bad things. Yeah, it brings that many tourists. Well, not bad to mention, happen. I don't really like Marines down there that much to begin with. Exactly. <laughs> the reason why I didn't want anyone from California going to Mexico. They didn't want us going down there for that reason. They Thank, do thankfully, not you know, like Marine. I have a, I, uh, see, I, I don't look like one anymore with all that hair. So, well, I got a beard, so it kind of helps. It kind of helps. You have the same Especially when I'm wearing a hat, you really don't know what's going on. It's like Never a bald dude with a beard. But a sketchy again, I wouldn't have gone on one before, regardless of any of this. I just no. I can't say I never went on one, but damn, dude, like I don't want to go get locked on a boat. I have zero like interest this. in going on a boat ever again on something like that. The only way I'm ever getting on a cruise ship, and I made this clear to anyone in my family that would ever ask me about it ever again in my life. If you want me to go on a ship, there's only one I'm going on. And that's the one that goes through the five Great Lakes. Good luck otherwise. Yeah, if there's just too much idiocy, but especially yeah. then the prices. You had the prices into that scenario. Oh yeah. Well, you can go five thousand dollars for a couple. No. Yeah. Six thousand dollars. She was like, she found something with her some deal that one was doing for like three hundred dollars for four nights. It was like a person. It's like, yeah, let's add uh meal cards and drink cards but uh no that's gonna and they're incubators yeah, that's, just your, that's just your stay that doesn't include any amenities yeah they're incubators of stupid and uh yeah not my thing what can i say if i if i can't drive there i'll take the train i like trains i have no problem with the train i won't say that i mean i'll take a ferry all day long every day but oh yeah that's a big old cruise ship pass on a ship yeah i'm not saying not no i'm good no, thank you. I've been locked up. and in... Too little trust to be involved in one of those scenarios for that. Yeah, I just don't like people. That's a whole lot of people. I mean, the only stipulation I put on to allow me to go would be, I'll go on a cruise ship. I'm riding with the captain. Yeah, but I'm the but captain. He goes, I go. Yeah, he's the captain now. Thank you, whatever movie. I'm not commandeering your ship, but you are not putting my life at risk on this trip yeah call me crazy i just never i mean as even as a young i was like no good nope like who the actually wants to get locked on a boat with thousands of other idiots for that long exactly. hell no nah. hell no nah. what damn what i was a teenager going yeah, that sounds like a not fun now that, that sounds nope it seems I'm like every other year travis back. goes i'm like dude why do you waste that money Go to a, like, go like the a amount of somewhere in the woods. alone that you have to deal with to get onto the ship, just to get to the ship and on the ship. That amount of ignorance, I'm, I'm over it. Then right. to sit on the ship the whole time and deal with all the idiots that you could potentially be dealing with on the ship, I am really not interested. Yeah, I'm not, I've never you have to go through all that shit to come back person. again? No, thanks. Yeah, nope, not that big of a people. Never been that big of a people person. And well, for some really reason, the world, the, world, the world just keeps proving me right. So what? Uh, I'm about to say, no, I'm I shouldn't say. say it. Why aren't you a people person? I don't know. Stupid. Why, why don't you? Why aren't you a people person? Take a look around. It's not that hard to understand why I think people suck. Dogs, great. Cats, they're okay. It's just yeah, you know, reptiles, turtles, plants. Plants are like they're not gonna. I mean, some of them will try to kill you, but you know. Like it's just people that they just absolutely suck. And the old things. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna quote suck. Kid Rock, and and I think it was the song he did with Marquis and McBride. And it's called Care. Collide. Not, oh no, that collide. was him and Cheryl Crow. Uh, collide was him and Cheryl Crow. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it was, was. Marquis McBride that did Care. Yeah. And Ti was in that song too. 
right there. That's another reason why I think people should be like, hmm. now granted, there's a couple things been said in the last year or two that he said that I, well, him and I need to have a conversation in person about. But that's besides the point. Which one, T.I. or Kid Rock? T.I. Yeah, I figured. But yeah, as, as far as Kid Rock goes in that song, kudos. But if people would just listen to that and just act on it, just act on it. Just, just one percent, once a day, every day. That's it. We gotta do just one percent. Hey, it's really funny how long ago Amen came out, and how horrifically true it all still is. Find Rock and Roll Jesus album. At least I think it was Rock and Roll Jesus. Find Kid Rock song Amen. But he is either one of them albums, Rock and Roll <laughs> Jesus or Born Free. It just. He was on point. If you listen that. to it and think for just five minutes, you'd be like, well, I really am a shitty person. Huh. Like, amen? Amen. I shouldn't have listened to it. That. It was rattling off all the things that were happening. God. Amen. How about God? Damn. How much do we all suck? Or <clears throat> two Another point song changes. that two points point all that out ain't quite morally as sound as amen, but a song that points <laughs> that out is Low Life. It's another song off of that album that points out, hey, scumbag lawyers with agendas. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that line alone is enough to prove my point. Yeah. Yeah. Great albums, though. Again, most people hate them. So, you know, because, you know, heaven forbid. He just goes, well, he falls in that category with uh, Ice Cube and Dr. Dre. I don't care. yeah, he's not. He's uncancelable. Yeah. Well, he could try to. They all are me, what? because they don't. Well, fuck. Like you could try to cancel me. What? Don't care. That's, that's why you can't get rid of me. I've ever seen in my life. That's it's why you can't Carlson. cancel me. Why? Because I don't care. I never watch. I haven't watched any of this stuff. Well, his exact words was, <laughs> "Why aren't time. you cancelable?" And Kid Rock's response was, "Because I don't give a fuck." I'm a. Uh, he says, I have no one I answer to. No one holds my contracts. I don't care. That was his response. That's why people like him, him. Ice Cube, Eminem, Dr. Dre, Rogan. all those guys that made money and just want to be able to make money uh-huh. and be happy are now going, I don't care. Fuck you guys. I don't yeah. care. No, but Marshall. Marshall okay, maybe not so much him, but the other been, one. He's, yeah. he's been the bringer of his own demise because as great as he is lyrically and wordsmithing for the love okay, of yeah. God. Let's take him out of that picture for a second. He's politically retarded. But the other guys though, they legit don't care. 50 Cent. You know why he's not canceled? He don't care. Well, it's because he's no longer 50 Cent. He is now. Yeah. Oh, he's got a quarter, quarter cent now. Joe Biden's president. Yeah. I said, I don't like, why do you want Trump? Why? I'm 50 Cent. I don't want to be quartered. Okay. Wait, there we go. I don't want to be 20 Cent. Amen. Amen. <laughs> now, but yeah, we'll close it off, even though we'll do the good note. You can go over all the primary stuff because, oh, yeah, yeah. So, Trump, Trump people in states like swept a bunch of states. Um, a lot of yeah, school boards in, te- school right boards in like Texas were yeah. 98% ratio right now. And, and I saw school boards in Texas, whole entire counties went completely like red and got rid of all like a lot of stuff happening yeah, yeah. in all these primaries. No. Keep in mind, America, we're going to be updating this weekly, but so far up to date, what I've got, I've got Watch. the March 1st re- results were for the Democrat side on governor. Beta O'Rourke took that. Shock. For the Republican governor, obviously Greg Abbott. Um, it's terrifying. May 3rd in Ohio. I don't have Indiana stuff correct yet. Beto is, Beto is even an option. Like, that's terrifying. Carry yeah. on. Like, that's that I'll get to that idiot in a minute. That uh, so for Ohio governor, Whaley won the Democrat side. DeWine won uh, Republican. For Nebraska governor, it was blood for Democrats. Lindstrom for uh, uh, Republicans. For House Senate in West Virginia, Miller took Democrats. Mooney took primaries, Republicans. Um. Next week's show, I will have results for Idaho, Kentucky, North Carolina, Oregon, and Pennsylvania, as well as Indiana's from May 3rd. 
You are the hoe. You are the hoe. Which is better than the gay. No offense, that's just a movie. Keep in mind, calm down. Texas and North Carolina, and I think there's another one that will have a runoff again later in the summer. I hate runoffs, but I know there's. We won't have that conversation. Just dumb. I got nothing good to say about it. We're one of like you know two states to do this. That probably sounds kind of stupid, but lots of other people think it's a very bad idea. But lots of uh, sweeps, and really the school board ones are the only ones that I care about. Like, well, I mean, governors. I guess. Yes, for most, for a lot of states down south, you probably don't have to worry as much about some of these people as like for obviously like Michigan or Ohio or well, Indiana. You really those matter. You got dummies coming over from fucking Illinois over there. Those them coming over. I mean, the school boards and. Uh, the state races for their houses and senates and like for the state like that matters because you know governor could be whoever the hell they want to get the people in the legislature and all that but make the, those are the ones because they're the ones that do everything don't matter who the governor is he can veto everything he wants they only have so much veto authority before well let's say they don't anymore so the stuff that picks all that is way bigger than you know again across the board legislatures are because they're not on, like oh and people don't pay attention to those little elections and i know all the sheriffs and all them are up now too and da's like those little ones like those actually do really matter and make a giant impact on the state and your community so like get out and vote for those people what that actually does make a very large I'm not sure in your life <laughs> where i what website I was on yesterday where I seen it. It might have been one of the governors. I don't remember. But I seen one of them I had a video on there from those uh uh protests in the Supreme Court Justice's house. I just remembered this. I don't know why it hit me, but um did you see thing. the girl singing Thank God for abortions? Like nope. how can you thank God for abortions when every person that believes in God is truly pushing the choice of life i'm confused in this case everyone didn't know apparently they can't believe it and i'm better than this because i'm still not on the trump patriot list you know, i haven't donated money well you first have to have money before you can donate and give anyone money if everyone that owed me money just gave me my money back. I or if would Joe have Biden money. would bring some inflation down a little bit, you know, and not keep putting it up, it'd be nice because. Uh, hey, no, we need to. No, we need to have like built you know, sixty billion dollars to go towards getting people in, you know, poor areas, you know, pretty much free internet. We need to waste money on that because we're already almost just under a trillion dollars. I'll of, be you honest. Know, in they don't have to give it to them for free. <clears throat> Those people in those areas would just be happy to be able to pay for internet. Yeah, but you know, like they're gonna do it. You know, government like all these like yeah, that. Yeah, government wants to do something about infrastructure. They should really be shutting down that five G shit. Like, there's everything going on. I think it's just yours because whenever my phone hits five G around here, like it just explodes and moves. It's just your garbage, garbage state. Well, the airports up here bitch about too. Well, yeah, because messes up with their all their stuff. I do fully agree. That I'm just saying if it's messing up with, you know, radar, is one of those things where there's more worse than there is good. So people flying, you know, like the planes, kind of they kind they of need to be able to watch the radars. They should have, you know, have precedent over, you know, internet. But as I digress, that's just going to open up a book of worms. But I don't remember where I was going before that. But sorry, internet people. <laughs> Free internet. Suck. Government yeah. sucks. We're already oh. like just under a trillion dollars in the hole. <laughs> like we were, let's say fiscal 2021. Four more on to go. Like we we're already we were no, we were up over nine hundred billion dollars in the hole before they started spending any money. I was gonna say last it's... year. Like they were just under a trillion before we started spending anything extra. So that was just spending, order. Do you cost. think so you think sixty? 
to all these trillions of bills and he brought down the deficit no we brought down the deficit guess what you know how many how much money he actually added to our debt though my he might have brought down the deficit he certainly our debt still went up we're still there's one question farther in the hole i would add in that argument right there the one question i would add Better is that. if you're gonna print 30 billion dollars to put into circulation you should probably find $30 billion of old money to take out of circulation. Yeah, something. Period. You want to put it in, take the old shit out. You can't, keep, keep saying, you can't put in, hey. put in, put in, never take out, and you think it's hey. just going to stay the same. Yeah, that, again, I've been told repeatedly on this thing. Uh, apparently, I'm not since it's just corporate greed and has nothing to do with it trillions of dollars we're just hemorrhaging which is more yeah it's like it's like autographs it's like it's like autographs look at the guys that commonly give out their autographs look how much they don't cost to get them look at people who don't sign anything that suddenly do look how expensive that stuff is well there's more of it the value of it goes down so if you're printing out hemorrhaging cash is running out there's more of it which means the value goes down which is why some countries are talking about using the yen as the world currency and not the U.S. dollar because we are killing it. And I don't care what you say, corporate greed is not helping, but printing off trillions of dollars for just stupid stuff that you don't have to and wasting it all causes inflation. It puts, you know, guess what? There's inflation, which those companies feel, which is why, you know, it keeps going because they feel it too. They're all billionaires and they're still complaining and doing all this. Why? Because they want to keep making more money. But if the inflation rate didn't keep going up, you can say whatever you want about Putin. <clears throat> January 19th, 2021. $2.54. Three cars and pounds of pre-sliced buffalo chicken. January 21st, over $5. Like, what, inflation hit, what, overnight? Like, Trump's gone, what, everything just happened to suddenly explode in price? Like, the moment that... Like, That's because Trump is new. It was over. Gas no prices problem. exploded, uh... Hundred and you know, gap you know, eggs are up one hundred and eighty percent for the big five dozen thing at Walmart. Well, I don't know about ninety percent, but chicken has no. damn near tripled no. up here. Yeah, yeah, but I went from spending four ninety seven or something for five dozen eggs. It's up to fourteen bucks. <coughs> and I don't That's, know about the rest of America, but I like my Wednesday Wednesday. So chicken needs to come. Back down. Yeah, the price of short order of wings compared to a tall like is now what it costs to used to cost to Chicago to get a tall order of wings. Thank you for that. Well that I brought it up the other day. Who am I talking to? Bob Saget? No. no. Sorry Bob miss you. Oh that's my Bob order sketchy. that's sketchy at Sam's four or five months ago. I don't want to compare them to 2020 because I'll be beyond yeah, pissed angry. off. I'll be beyond that. <laughs> You'll be all of the motions at one time. Yeah, and ready to look. A nuclear loose. warhead. Exactly. Well, I'll, I'll, wall there's, a reason, there's a reason why Tom called me Murdoch. Let's just put it that way. Punch a wall locker. Um, a little better. What are we you have enough of them. Sam's orders. Sam's club yeah, orders. Sam's order. If you took my order from it. six months ago and then compared it to what it was just this last month and how much I got then versus how much I got this time, your mind would be blown. Normally, when I would go to Sam's and I'd spend my five to eight hundred dollars, it, it would it would literally fill my car with the four of us in there. The car would be plumb full. I go now, and I don't even have the shit over the back seat, and the price hasn't really went down. If we're being openly honest. Well, yeah, I mean, it was getting half immediate. the shit for the price I was yeah. paying five months ago. Yeah, like uh, right away, the beginning of it all. Um, now this is back still pandemic stuff and all that, but it keeps getting worse. Like the price of the big family size boxes of cereal, the price has gone up while the amount of cereal actually in the bag has gone down. And, and speaking, you said charge you more be, for less. That also makes me question it. Why, why aren't we talking about that during the pandemic when all that shit started? Look at how many pig farmers in Indiana alone were killing pigs by the hundreds because they couldn't sell them. Wait a minute. What the fuck do you mean you can't sell them? You can't go to a county without finding a local meat market unless you're in D.C. or Maryland or something. 
then I can understand it. But most states, you can't go to any county without finding yourself at least one, if not two local meat markets. You're telling me you couldn't have sold as a pig farm to the local meat markets and still been able to shove money out that way. When you go to, you go to a restaurant during the pandemic, pull up to a drive through if you went to a drive through to say, oh, I want to get this burger or this sandwich. Oh, sorry, we don't have chicken. Sorry, we don't have beef. What do you mean? Well, the beef factory is closed. Excuse me, come again? Beef factory? No, there's no such thing as a beef factory. What is that? And had that's that conversation take, that's where in they the drive the cow and make the patties. I said, so you're talking about a processing? <coughs> he goes, no, the, 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 the beef factory. I'm like, no, no. I said, anyways, I said, you're telling me you have no beef. Have you, have you, where's your, and I asked her, I said, where's the beef factory at? She goes, Wisconsin. I said, so have you tried just, just within a 30 minute or 30 mile radius of here, there's like 10 meat markets. Right. Have you went to any of them? I said, as a matter of fact, if you walk across the road right here, you see that family fair right over there, which is kind of like a food lion. Yeah. I, know. I said, you see that family fair? Why can't you walk over there and buy some meat? I bet you I can walk over there and there's going to be ground beef all over the place in there. Expensive. Tell me you can't buy it. It's not my, that's hey, not my fault. Hey, Supply hey, and demand. You got it. Sell it. Hey, it's like, it's just like people saying that, you know, gas prices are up because no one went anywhere during the pandemic. Like what crystal flew clear across the country. Hannah did it twice. Airplanes were still going. Cars were still traveling. Trucks were case. still driving things. People still went to work in a lot of places. So please enlighten me where like it stopped because no one was using gas. Well, exactly. Down here, exactly. Thank you. Because if that were the case, there would be such an excess right now. Our gas would be half of what it was a year ago. If, if that were true, yeah. if that were true, it would truly be half of what it was. But no, it's more than double what it was. So that there's no truth in that. Well, no, That's the everything. simplicity of that is what blows my mind. Yeah, and the fact that no one gets it, no one cares. Like no one can actually. Sorry, it's, it's again, what made you a conservative? I can critically think and comprehend things without being you know, just. That's why I just left it. But those short little words, everyone else like critically think and comprehend. I think it also comes back to another point, though, with education, because people have become so, so, I won't say stupid. Stupid. People have become so ignorant because they're so lazy that, oh, we, we, we don't have beef because the beef factory is closed. Well, don't rely on change, jackass. It's like, oh, Walmart or Myers don't have it. I can't get it. No, you can still get meat. Go to a local farmer. Go to a local meat market. Yeah, so I don't get with a you, farmer. You need, like, you need metal stuff built? You can still get that done. You don't have to wait on China. You need a stainless steel tank? Okay, add 15%. What are you going to pay two years ago out of China? Get it made here. Somebody local in America. They'll make it. It might cost you 15% more. Won't deny that. But you'll get it, and it'll be now. It won't be next year, the year after. I know a guy that just ordered, I shouldn't say just ordered, just got his stainless steel brewing tank. That, that one I told you about the other day. Yeah. Yeah. That one I told you about just got his brewing tank and his shipping costs went up 400 and some percent from when he got it ordered his quote for shipping. Then it went up 400 and some percent from that when they finally delivered it after they made it. What? Okay. This is what I said. I was paying for shipping. So not my fault. It took you two years to get it to me. You're welcome. <laughs> I would have told him, keep your tank. <clears throat> what? I'm good. What? I'll get an old wash tub or something. Well, I'll figure and, out. And, and, I and that stuff, there's factories. And there's enough and, breweries. And, and fast shops shut down. in this country that are union. Because everybody wants to be pro-union. I'm going to go that route with it. We're so pro-union. There's factories and shops in this country that are factory, pipe fitter and steam fitters and stuff like that, welding jobs, union jobs that could build all of this cool. shit yeah. and get it within a week versus a year and six months or a year and four months. Yeah. Hey, don't think big picture. I think little picture. That's all they know. Little box. They don't see the big box outside the little box. We're all going like cause and effect, supply and whatever the hell you, what your little box is causing. And that little box, when the big box, the big box to melts, explode. it's going to literally melt around and close in on the little box and they're going to be screwed. Hey, that's what they get. But I think that's I think that's a good that's a good carry off point. <coughs> and I'm Anyways. fine. And I'm out of water, so it seems like a perfect time to end it. America, things can get better. Don't 
believe it unless you know you've done the research and you know it's right. Stop telling people to turn off Fox News and Newsmax. And what, it really proves just how ignorant you are because we know exactly where you're getting those exact words. Believe it or not, some of us just know how to actually read. It makes you look bad the, if I can do it, you can. It knows how to use the internet to find things like the Pfizer stuff or the bills or the border numbers or the leak from the Supreme Court. Like it's all actually or actual speeches and so, like you can actually find it and read it yourself and please oh, apparently you didn't read it I'm like bro what apparently you really did one because i did especially the voting thing in georgia i think it was only like 17 pages if that like and you guys this is like it takes 10 minutes to read that but we'll leave it at that but don't even want like it's just read people what you can find the stuff if you need help finding the stuff reach out comment on something i can get you the stuff I can't get you the stuff. Turn off stage get you the stuff. Your real stuff. He can get you some stuff. Like we can, we can get you the information if you do not know where to see Reach it coming out. straight from the horse's mouth at the Fed themselves, which is completely contradictory to most of what comes out of their mouths. And suddenly you will be truly woken. And you anyone that doesn't think. believe us, we have our proof. We keep notes. Don't think we don't. I print stuff more stuff off if I like going and buying ink, which I don't. So more don't worry, all files are saved on my phone and highlighted horrifically. Because my finger doesn't like to go in a straight line. But it's there. But we'll need be a, back next. what's that word? What's the thing? Oh, I need a stylus. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> one day. That's what I need. But Does the American need, need you this. stuff? But we'll be back you know, next week. It was a good talk. Again, follow along. I even posted stuff on Twitter now. And well, you can follow me there if you want to just see people. You, if I comment, it goes there and, and you can see people's heads melt if that entertains you. I mean, it doesn't really entertain me. I'm just trying to scroll through and see what Elon Musk is doing today to piss people off because he randomly just throws one out there all the time. And it's like, okay, what? And yeah, but the episodes go on. I like there. that. Good. Yeah, just real quick. Elon Musk does his tweet. I'm going to get killed next week. I love chocolate milk. Okay. Then PETA attacks him for liking chocolate milk. And PETA attacks them right. for, enjoying, for enjoying chocolate milk. Like, you can't make up the level of just, like, you're mad. Okay. Like, what? You guys can't be happy about nothing. But, yeah, Facebook, yeah, YouTube. America, buy American made. That's my story. Well, I'm yeah. sticking to it. Oh. Yeah, Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, Cloud Hub. Put them on Twitter now. Spotify, Apple and Google Podcasts, Anchor, Breaker, Stitcher, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Podcasts, Audible. What I am running out of Player FM. See, I just got posters and stuff written all over stuff that I've gone on to. It's all over the place. Find it and share it out to people and get it, you know, going. Sooner or later, I'll be on Pandora. God, they're slow. They're going to give me an expletive rating anyway. I mean, what else do you need? What that takes six We're months. already on Apple Podcasts. I don't know if you said yeah. that one. Just share it out. Find it. Good pods. Thank you. Appreciate all the support. Keep doing that and getting it out there. You guys are good there. The numbers are outstanding. So appreciate all of you. And we'll be back Wednesday for you know another one of these. God knows what stupid will happen until then. But we will cover the stupid. The border numbers should be out. You know, there's a lot of stupid to cover. So yeah. don't worry. We'll be all over that. More elections will have happened. We'll probably we might get have those numbers next week. We might get through more of the Pfizer so we can give you a little more of the Pfizer numbers. But again, there's 10,000 pages, people. Give us a break. We're only two human beings with actual lives. We don't have staff to read things for us. Well, here's, this, nice. here's this. Here's what everyone gets, you know, a thousand pages ready, go. Yeah, you know, we, we don't have that. You know, we try, but you got that. And if you like racing, we'll be back Friday morning about that because I'm sure there's all kinds of stuff going on. And I get to hear Walter's take on Justin Barsha if he actually finally watched the damn race and we've only been waiting for almost a week. At least you could do is watch it already. I had a lot or, of races I was watching. Or go watch, or go on Facebook. What you, I shared the video, you'll just see him getting. He deserved worse than he got. Not all the booze. He deserved all that. And then people should have been throwing stuff at him. But yeah, I don't encourage violence on that. But, you know, they can throw stuff at John Hunter. I still try and figure out how someone threw a beer can at John Hunter Nemechek. And there's like nine people there at the truck race, but that's just, anyway, 
We'll be back next week at this. We got the race and show on Friday morning, so check that out. And enjoy the rest of your you know, week. And again, read some stuff. If you need anything, find us. But we'll be back then. So Support your local government. Don't forget to vote. Peace.